Traverse City, Michigan, grabbing the early lead there. 125 BC. Landon Ray, Jackson Avery, Garrett Oberster, Jake Fisher, Kyle Seeker, Henry Webster, Chad. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? FMF Rider here. Welcome back to another episode of FML TBH KMSRN. So if you focus your center of attention onto the middle of your screen, you'll notice that I've gotten into somewhat of a, uh, a little pickle. I'd go as far as to say is uh, I'm inside of a cucumber. But uh, other than that, it's, uh, it's pretty serious stuff out here. Oh, nice gentleman's going to help me out with the bike. I and had stumbled upon an unforeseen mud hole. Uh, loss of struggling. Here, here, let's skip a little bit of this. Holy shit, dude! One tear off. Way wide. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> Can't even see where I'm going. Anyway, eventually I get out of the hole and I just sort of kick the bike and leave. Uh, I didn't even say thanks to the guy. I didn't even thank him. Uh, wow, what a trashy person I am. Uh, uh, I'll just say thank you right now so much, Mr. Spectator Man, for helping me out. Really appreciate it. Lots of people helping people out in this race, especially considering it's a quite moist one at that. Um, so right out of that mud hole, I'm just like, oh my gosh, just like drag the bike through a bunch of mud, gets your arms real tired, really gets you pumped up for this race. You know what's going through my mind, you, you may ask? Well... I'm thinking, man, this is going to be such a great race. Man, I'm just, I'm not even thinking about wiping the camera, the just completely crappy camera. That's how much I'm thinking about doing well on this race. It's just like, oh my gosh, amazing. I can't wait. So hyped up, you know? Uh, anyway, coming down this stretch. Oh, I actually wiped the camera. There you see. Um, enjoying myself mm -hmm, very much. Mm -hmm. Yep, no sarcasm. Um, coming in uh, after this long straight. I don't mind people passing me at this point because... They're not in my class, it's not really a big deal, they're much faster than I am. Um, uh, you'll quickly notice that this uh, is a Grand National Cross Country Race, that means it's GNCC in acronyms. Uh, so, tons of people ride the track. The quads have already been through this on the previous uh, morning, and the track's just completely ripped up. It's so gnarly, these whoops that I'm in right now are just, they're like rollers, but they're sort of uneven, and it just doesn't let up and you just hope that your suspension can soak in enough uh, impact of the impact and you can just somehow get by and the, I'm just trying to not get roosted by all these people who are going much faster than me aka uh, higher than third gear and uh, like right here I just sort of hug the side of the uh, tree line so I can get as much uh, speed and smoothness uh, out of my effort so I can go a little bit faster and conserve more energy but as you'll find out, that may not help uh, at all. 
but hey, you know what? You get what you get, and you don't get upset. And of course, it wouldn't be a Gene CC without a really long, fast section with a bunch of people. Here I try to go on the outside, see if I can make some moves. Of course I can't, being FMF Rider, I can't actually successfully pass anyone, but we'll see what happens. Here we get in some tighter woods, I'm thinking if there's enough space I can probably go around them maybe, is too many tree roots. There's actually a lot of roots on this track, because it's so ripped up as I mentioned earlier, it's just like, you better hope you got some good knobbies on there, some Dunlop or something. Currently, uh, oh that's nice, almost crashed, uh, I'm using the uh, Scorpion tires from a certain brand, but they're good tires. Only only half the knobs have fallen off at this point, I think, and uh, it's, looking, look, it's looking pretty good for me here. And we go out to another wide-open section here. Okay, I'm taking most of the inside lines just because uh, I'm not in any rush, so it's not really a big deal. And I'm just sort of following the same old rut that anyone else takes because I'm not really... Don't really want to try too hard at this point. I know it's very early on in the race and I should have more energy, but like, it's like, mm, uh, my first GNCC, it's a, it's a, a big whopper. It's like, it's like a McDonald's whopper. Wait a minute. This section right here is pretty cool because it's just one big straightaway up to an oak tree. You can see all the lines people are trying to take, fighting for positions. I don't even know if I'm fighting for four positions at this point because of the place I'm in. I always assume I'm pretty much dead last. That's pretty much how that works. And then we're all funneled in here from uh, in between hay bales and you go out to another uh, wide open section. Uh, as as I said before, I keep saying that. Uh, I keep taking the inside lines uh, because why not? It's better to just not get roosted by people by taking the inside line. The wind's pretty high right now, so the dust is not as at its full potential, but it is pretty dusty and gnarly out here. Going over some oak roots, not really the best idea. Uh, trying to get some get some momentum off these berms and just try, trying to conserve as much energy as possible. Now here I'm like, oh, I could probably squeeze in by these people. Hmm, I, I probably have a quicker bike than them, I don't know, maybe. Eh, he's right beside me, that's always oh, trying to push me inside, okay, let's, let's not do that, yeah. Oh, hey, I got around both of them somehow. Yep. And that's it. That's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and all that. Thanks. By the way, guys, I'm going to spread this race footage out for a long time, FYI, because I sort of don't have a GoPro mount, helmet mount at the time at this moment. So, uh, yeah, just hang in with me now. All right, we'll get there.